So, just another quick video based on a question in the Facebook group about coloring uh, your tracks based on key and specifically about uh, the harmonic key display. So, like you probably know, uh, when you load a track in here, Mr. DJ, you can change from regular key here to harmonic key display simply by clicking it like that. Then you get this uh, value from between 1 and 12 and A and B, and you also get it down here in the key column with some standardized colors that seem to be like the, the Camelot wheel uh, colors now, so these are pretty standardized. So these are the colors we want. And of course, the system is that if you want harmonic mixing with the next track, instead of learning which real keys goes together, you just need to go one or down in the number or from A to B, and you'll get decent harmonic mixing. But the question was really, okay, here's a color. Can I get that on the entire track? So the entire track is color based po the, based on this harmonic key display. And actually someone did a script to do that a while back. I didn't know this and I don't know, still don't know who did it, but it was Lesko on, on, in a form who had kept it and posted it. So that's one way of doing it and I have another way, but let's do that one first just to see how that works. So the idea here is that uh, we have a script here that if you go to the end of it, you can see that it simply runs through all the files in the current folder and then it checks which key they're in and then it sets their track color. And then of course, because Virtual D-Day uh, colors based on the track color, it'll work. So let's just see how it works. So let's click that and then click that. And you see it runs through them and it gives them a color. So that's pretty nice. But of course, you'll need to, need to do that and change all your tracks. You'll need to do it on a low trigger, maybe. Um, so it doesn't just simply work. Another thing is that it actually changes the tag, right? So if I go into the tag editor, this is now colored in this color. So you may not want to do that. So I was thinking, can we use one of the newer features instead? The color rules. And yes, we can. So let's try doing that instead. So I'll just go grab all these again, go into the tag editor and turn the color back to nothing. So now they're all gray, white again, like this. So just this key column is still colored. So uh, let's try and see if we can do it here instead. So we go into the color rule and uh, we build a new one. And uh, the first thing you need to figure out is, of course, well, you need to look at the key, right? And this is fine. And then you can pick one of these values down here. So let's do 04B, the bottom one, and then give that a color. So let's just do yellow because that's close to what it is currently, like this. And so the first thing you will notice is that you're probably going to run out of colors. I have a hard time picking the exact right ones from here, right? So it's not quite the right yellow color. That's fixable because that's because of the way the color picker works at the moment. So that's a setting. So if I go into color picker in options here, it's set to auto. If I switch that to system like this and go back and try again, I get all the colors in the world, right? So I can just pick a weird one here, say okay. And now we'll have this color. So then we'll get access to all these colors. So that's a good thing. Um, so that was by chasing that to system. But of course, you still need all these colors. So how do you get those? Well, you could actually just go grab them, those from the, the script here. So they, those are the ones that down here in hex values. So the one that's that start with a hashtag, right? Uh, for, for hex. So that's definitely possible. And then you can start putting them in here. Uh, like by doing a new one, of course, as well, and then a secondary one for a new color that I just figured out was worse, this one. And that's gonna be for key. But I put there, and that's gonna be uh, like 10A, let's just say 10A. I didn't get the color. Let go. And now that gets this color and stuff like that. Now I change both of them. That doesn't matter. 
So you get the picture. That means you get all these different colors down here. That's a lot of tedious work. So uh, luckily, this stuff is just stored in one setting. So if I move it back into uh, the options here, and I do color again, we can see it gets stored in this format. So the hex value equals, and then the, uh, the argon key is, and the value, and a comma, and the next one. So uh, this can actually just be copied in there if you have the correct, if you have the correct list. And so of course that made that. So that's this one. So you can see it's fairly long. See that down here. But it's here, so I can just copy it. Probably not. Like this. And go back into my settings, color. And then go down to the color rules and then just replace whatever's here. And then it'll just work. And it'll work in all folders because now it's a color rule, right? So that just works. And that also means that I, if I go into this now, you can see since it's a setting, it's reading it and it's actually doing all the stuff that I always needed to do manually. So that's a very quick way to get this, these color rules in here. And of course, put this in a link probably uh, in the video description. So you can just go get, get it if you want to do this. So just to go back and make sure, but saw it, it's the color rules setting. So this thing is the one you need to override to get this stuff. And one other thing is, it doesn't matter if you change the, uh, the key back to regular keys now, because it's a color rule now, it'll still just work, and you'll get all the colors, even though you, uh, for the harmonic, uh, the harmonic uh, values, even though you're still looking at the, the real key values now.